Welcome to part six of the 2020 National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan Storm Spotter Training. This last and most important part of the training is about communicating with the National Weather Service and how to get your information to us. Note, this is the most important step in the entire thing. This is why we're recruiting people to report to us. We need to get the reports particularly in real time so that we can warn the public of what kind of severe weather is coming their way. Please do not assume that we know uh, what's happening on the ground just because a warning is out. Uh, we prefer to get more information than we need rather than less, so please call us. Also, contact us and not 911. 911 gets inundated with phone calls and needs to respond to the, uh, the emergency that's in front of them. Um, so with reports, please try to call us or contact us rather than them. When it comes to reporting severe weather, there's four main things we need to know. The first is who are you, whether you're a trained weather spotter, sheriff, fire department, police. Uh, you can start off with that. Then go to what occurred. So is was it a dime-sized hail or a quarter-sized hail? Or if it's a tornado, reporting that. You know, what occurred? When was it? You know, right now, five hours ago, eight o'clock. That's important information we need to know. And then where was it? So uh, location where uh, the, the event is. Here's our storm spotter phone number uh, that you can use for reports only. Please only use that to, to do that rather than get uh, forecast information. We particularly want to use this for tornadoes. So if you have a report of a tornado, please call us so that we can talk to you, engage your confidence in what you're seeing and get some more information on exactly where that's at. That's gonna be the fastest way to be able to get us that information. You can use this, inf this phone number for other types of severe weather if you have no other means available to you for reporting, but really we want to use this for tornadoes, wall and funnel clouds. Amateur radio is also a great way to be able to communicate with us. Uh, if you want, you can pause on this to see who your contact information might be for your county. Uh, quick way to be able to get weather information to our office. Next best option is using this website. You can bring this up on your phone's web browser and it'll geolocate where you're at or geotarget you so that you can provide a, a very specific location for where your report's coming from. You don't have to guess like if I'm two miles west of uh, Oconomowoc or whatever it might be. You can use this to report anything uh, and leave, leave us some kind of extra details in your report. And uh, this is a great way to be able to get information to us really quickly. If you're on social media, Twitter is our preference over Facebook uh, because we can get an audible alert saying that uh, here's, here's a report from our location and an audible message on TweetDeck. So if you can, use Twitter to be able to report to us. All you got to do is mention us at, N at NWSMKX and uh, we should see that message um, as, as soon as we, we hear it cling on us. If you are going to be on Facebook, there's multiple ways you can report to us. Uh, we do need to refresh the full page to be able to see a report, so it does take a little bit of extra work to be able to get there. You can either send us a direct message if that's your preference, or if we put out a post saying, uh, please comment on this and we will see a report there as well. MPing is a free app. Uh, it'll You can download it to your phone, and this is great for hail or precipitation types if you like to uh, produce a report for when it's snowing or if it's raining or going back and forth, you can use it there. Otherwise, uh, hail is a good thing for us to, to use it with. We can't follow up with you on this, so uh, do not use it to report tornadoes. And here's an example of how that gets into our, in our system pretty quickly, and we can actually overlay it on top of storms and see where that report is actually coming from. For those that want to be part of a rainfall network, um, a high density one, we recommend using Kokoraz. All you have to do is measure rainfall one a day. You buy your own rain gauge for 42 bucks, and it's a high quality gauge that you can use to be able to see how much rain you had at your location. This is what everybody uses across the nation. You can kind of even see within your city how the difference is in precipitation. So if you want to report rainfall, uh, you can use this, this site to be able to do that. But just make sure that you're using the same instrument that everybody else is using. 
Again, to finish up uh, with this, uh, safety is your number one priority. Please stay safe and keep others safe. Um, storm spotting does not give you a ticket that you can go and break the law to try to get to a storm that you need to get to. Um, know your escape route if you are going to a location to be able to mobile spot. Um, otherwise, just know how long it takes to get back and then also communicate your whereabouts to where you're going to be spotting from. Thank you. This concludes the 2020 National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan Storm Spotter training. Uh, this is an abbreviated version because of the lack of in-person training sessions we could do, but hopefully this provides enough information for you to uh, have, have a way to be able to report to us this summer. If you have any follow-up questions, you can email myself. I'm the Warning Coordination Meteorologist here at the National Weather Service Milwaukee Sullivan office. You can see my email address there, and I will respond to your question as soon as I possibly can. Thanks again.